Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Talking Goddess. And I am here with not one guest, but two, because Cloudy is joining us as well. And you know what that means. We are joined by J.C. Storm. What's up, girl? What is up, everybody? And I don't just mean this guy. It's, it's the blue. Mm. Yeah, I, it's fine. I, I feel like people are going to laugh at that. I think they will. We have an audience. They're, they're probably going to laugh. So my first question to you is obviously the obvious question. What would it mean for you to win the D365 Cup? Oh, my God. When I win the Cup. It's just going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. This is something that I've looked forward to for so long, especially being still a little fairly new to the independent scene. Um, I did just deb- uh, debuted uh, in April 2021. So for me, I feel like I'm still a little you know, new to everything. Um, but winning that cup would just mean that I'm just one step closer to being where I have to be. And it's just more so of proving it to myself that I have overcome so much in this business. And uh, it's going to look great. It's going to look great uh, next to my future titles, next to Cloudy's new wardrobe I'm setting up over there. It's going to be great. What are you looking to prove in the tournament? I mean, I don't think I have anything to prove. I think my work speaks for itself. I think these ladies need to watch out, not just the females in my bracket, but when I move on, the next ladies that move on as well need to watch out. I feel like everybody just keeps focusing on their bracket and they don't understand that the real competition starts once you do what you got to do and you move on a lot of people are talking but a lot of people are going to stay behind that's what i'm saying i mean there's four fatal four-way matches but only four women could advance to the finals you got a one in four chance to get to that final match so in your bracket you have amanda the amazon tara calloway and becca wiley who do you think is the biggest threat? You know, Amanda said some things. Becca is Becca. And Tara, Tara's been nice. Tara has been fairly nice. Um, I've been in the ring with people who have been nice before. Uh, so that's someone I'm probably going to have my eye on for sure, especially since she's the most experienced. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be super fun, super dope, and I'm pretty excited. Now, the other ladies, before I get to the lady, uh, Becca's fairly new. I've watched some of her stuff because as a professional, I have to know what I'm going in there dealing with. So, um... I'm pretty, pretty, pretty excited to get in the ring with her. I think we're going to be great friends. I think, I don't want to give too much away, but besides that, I'm not worried about anybody else. Um, Amanda had her chance to have a one-on-one with me for my title. And uh, yeah, she didn't show up. So uh I think that speaks for itself. She was scared. So this time around, I'm pretty sure she's going to be scared as well. So I'm not pretty, I'm not worried. Mm-mm. Well, that's a good attitude to have. And you talk about how you're fairly new to the independent scene, but you had an amazing 2022. You competed on AEW Dark a bunch of times, multiple independent companies. Do you think you have the advantage going in because you have had an amazing 2022? Um... You know what? I wouldn't say it's because of my previous experience in 2022. I just think I want it more, to be honest. I don't think none of these girls' hearts are in the right place right now. Um, 
to be honest, my only competition standing in the way is myself. I feel like I just need to get my head in the game. I'm going to go in there, do what I got to do, rain on these girls' parade, and walk out with the cup. And that's it. And you're also, like I said, great 2022, also had a chance to hold some gold within 2022. And of course, you only don't get the cup, you'll also get the gold, you'll get the title. What would it mean for you to be champion once again? Oh my god. Ah, You know what? The only headache about being champion is that you get stopped in the airport a lot. I don't really check in my bags. When I go through security, they're always stopping me to check my bag because of the title and blah, blah, blah. That's probably the only thing that like bugs me a little bit. But besides that, who doesn't like to win? Who doesn't like to hold gold? Like, this would definitely solidify the start of the storm year. This is pretty much going to be my year. I have so much going on and so much that's going to happen. But right now, I'm just going to focus on winning this tournament so that I can become the new women's champ once I get in the ring with, uh, we don't even know yet because we might have a new champ. Exactly. And do you, you know, this is the part of the show where it seems like everyone calls out somebody. Do you have anything else to add? Any last messages before February 25th? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep everything to myself. I feel like these girls are distracted. Like I said, they don't want it enough. Their heart is not in it. I don't see the fight. So I'm not stressed. I'm not bothered. I know I'm going to walk in there a winner and walk out a champion. And will February 25th be the start of the year for the Storm? Will JC Storm be the one to go all the way and win the D365 Cup? JC, thank you so much for joining me, and we hope to see you all February 25th.